We'll take a look actually at Hurricane Lane to start things off here because uh, even though this has nothing to do with us, this is a powerful major hurricane in the Pacific Basin. You can see, like we said, it's a Category 4 storm right now. Winds are at 155 miles an hour sustained and it's moving west northwest toward the Hawaiian Islands at about 8 miles an hour. So take a look at this track and you can see based on that track where that right front quadrant of the storm would be. If you take a little cross section of the storm right about here, the right front quadrant is here. So the strongest wind are going to be on this side of the storm as it moves up toward Hawaii. So that's why, again, preparations are underway for potential dangerous, life-threatening storm surge as well as those strong winds as that storm starts to weaken as it nears Kauai as we get into Friday and Saturday. But again, it has been busy for Hawaii. Hurricane warning is now in effect for the Big Island. It's the second storm they've dealt with this season. First major storm to take aim at Hawaii since Iniki in 1992. The last landfall in Hawaii was back in 2016 with Tropical Storm Darby. Closer to home, no hurricanes in the forecast for us. Luckily, Cape May is quiet this afternoon. More clouds in the forecast or more clouds in the sky, I should say, than we saw out there yesterday and early er, earlier today. We had more sunshine, but a few clouds have popped up. You can see the umbrellas have come down. We had some showers move through, but not much happening right now. Those showers have fizzled and skies are beginning to clear, but we are tracking some showers and storms off to the north and west as a cold front begins to move through the state of Pennsylvania, and it doesn't have much with it. Certainly not those heavy flooding downpours from last night, but scattered showers moving toward Bucks, uh, Berks County eventually. Bucks and Montgomery counties and the Lehigh Valley also dotting the Poconos right now. Just a few scattered showers and a few down through the Delaware beaches as well. So what to expect this evening? Cold front moves through with a few showers and thunderstorms. Best chances north and west. One may make it far enough south to impact Philadelphia, but it will clear out pretty quickly once the sun goes down. Temps right now, you can see we've started to tap into that northwest wind. It's pretty comfy. It's in the low 80s, but we're still seeing that higher humidity. Cooler air already waiting in the wings, though and that's what's going to move in tonight into tomorrow. The dew point right now is 63. That puts us pretty close to the humid range, but over the next 24 hours, those dew points are going to drop considerably. In fact, by tomorrow afternoon, dew points are in the 40s. That is very, very comfortable. Overnight turning less humid with some clearing at 65 degrees. Get out and wash the car over the next few days. We've got nothing but sunshine in the forecast on your Eyewitness Weather 7-day outlook. We've got sunshine every single day and just a gradual warming as we get into the weekend and into next week. We go from the low 80s tomorrow to the mid 80s over the weekend and then back to the 90s. So if that little taste of fall has scared you, it's not going to be around for long. Don't be scared. Now we yeah. may be having him maybe in a heat wave again next week. So summer is still here. Okay. Thank Great. you so much. Sure. Kate. Appreciate it.